Hello and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe before watching it and turn on the notification to get the latest updates from us. Have a good time watching. Number 1. Early Life Kim Tae-ri was born on April 24, 1990, in Seoul, and has a brother who is two years older than her. She was raised by her grandmother during childhood. Her name Kim Tae-ri is the name given by her father. She is named after the pear blossom in full bloom in the neighborhood when she was born. He grew up in what she calls a very poor family. She had a number of jobs while she attended school and worked at a KFC, a newspaper company, and cafes, before she could finally pursue her acting career. Her parents were supportive of her decision to pursue acting. Number 2. Education. She attended Sinhian Middle School. Yangshin Women's Business High School. She liked painting, so she went into the field of art and designed to try to challenge art, but then realized that it was not her way. After that, she vaguely dreamed of becoming an announcer and joined the Kyunghee University Department of Mass Communications. Then she found her way onto the theater stage when she was in her second year at university. After she graduated from university, she worked as theater technical crew in Dihakro. Number 3. First Acting Debut In 2013, she began her theater debut in Spoon Face Steinberg. Before commercial debut, she joined short movie project entitled Moon Young in 2013. One year later, she joined artist management JY Company and began to appear in several commercials including The Body Shop CF. She also attended several auditions for actress, but she got rejected. In 2016, she made first acting debut in Park Chan Wook's critical acclaim movie The Handmaiden. Number 4. Hobbies. She likes exercising, walking, cycling, and so on. She enjoys climbing, especially since she was a child, she would explore the mountain when her mind is complicated. She often goes to Buchan Mountain because it's close to her house even asking her friends who like mountains to go together. She has a hobby of listening to podcasts. She listens to podcasts in various fields such as politics, science, and language, reads novels or discuss topics with books at night. Number 5. Ideal Type Someone who loves animals and is also a funny person. She also hopes that her ideal type has similar communication styles and not assume that she is being arrogant when she makes verbal mistakes. Since she feels that recently she is unable to find friends to have quality conversations, she also wishes that she can talk to the person well. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. In addition, you can convey messages through the comments column. See you next time.